Hey, what's up, YouTube? Stacking and packing here with another two box half dollar hunt. We have two boxes of NF string and sun rolls in front of us, so a thousand dollars and half dollars to go through. So let's go ahead and get into what we've got. We're gonna start off with box number one, where we're gonna have four semi heavy rolls. We're gonna have an ender roll, which we're gonna get into in a second, and we're gonna have four slightly heavy rolls. So this ender roll is gonna be a 40%er, it's a 1968 Denver, as you guys can see. And this roll, when I weigh it up, it weighs up as a 224.6. So that's very light, especially to have a silver in it. So that gives me hope that there's going to be more silver in these rolls, in these regular weighted rolls. So it should be a fun hunt. We're going to move on over to box number two, where we're going to have a very heavy roll here. This is a 227.9 with an ender on it. So there's probably two silvers in here, two 90 percenters, or possibly a bunch of 40 percenters. Then we're going to have another four heavy rolls we're going to move on down to our semi heavy rolls we have three of those and we have five slightly heavy rolls and we can't forget about our other ender roll we have another ender roll here guys so this is going to be a 40 percenter most likely let's go ahead and get into our first we're going to do our first three rolls for box number one because we do have quite a few heavy rolls so we might as well just do three and see if we can pull anything out of our first three rolls. As always, what we're looking for is going to be the 40% silver, 90% silver. We're looking for our 1987 not intended for circulation half dollar. We're looking for proofs, commemorative half dollars, and errors and varieties. I think I got everything there. Don't see anything in this one. Nope, nothing there. So let's get into roll number three. If there's nothing in roll number three, I'll go ahead and cut off here. And I don't think so. Oh, we got a silver in roll number three, guys. So we're starting off with some silver. In roll number three, we've got a silver. So right here, one off from being an ender, and we're going to have a silver. We got a 1967 40% silver half dollar to start off the hunt. So that's our first silver for the hunt, guys. Silver number one on the board. We'll put that one to the side. I did say that we were going to end off at roll three if we uh, if we didn't find anything. But since we found something, why don't we just do the first five rolls and see? You never know. We might pull out one more silver. So we'll do the first five rolls for box number one. And we'll see if we pull out. And we're going to have another silver in the very next roll, guys. Right there. We got silver number two for the hunt. And that's another 40 percenter i can tell by that reverse 1967 so that's silver number two for the hunt so two silvers in less than well that's four rolls so far so we're going to do the fifth roll we'll open this one up we'll see if i don't knock down this tripod we'll see if we can pull anything out of roll number five and then we'll go ahead and get into the rest of the box Okay, guys, I don't think I see anything in this roll. So we're going to go ahead and get into the rest of the box, and then I'll bring you guys in for our next find. Okay, guys, so we are on roll number seven. No, sorry, roll number eight. And we're going to have our first find outside of those first five rolls. We've got a silver, and the stream did see it first. It's a 1968 Denver. So we got a 1968 Denver. It's our first one for the hunt, and we've got two 1967 silver half dollar so three 40 percenters so far we'll see who's going to beat out who if it's going to be 1968 or 1967 i'll bring you guys in for the next one. okay guys so we just pulled out our next silver find for the hunt we're gonna have a silver and a proof in the same roll so let's go ahead and see what we've got we've got a 1968 denver silver half dollar that's silver number four for box number one and this is going to tie it up with 1967 Let's pull out that proof. This is our second proof for the hunt. And it's in 1971 San Francisco. Not too bad. It's a little bit better than the first one, I think. The reverse looks better than the obverse, that's for sure. So not too bad. We'll add that one to the board there. And I'll bring you guys in for our next find. Okay, guys. So we have two, uh, two rolls left in box number one. And we're going to have another silver here, guys. The stream did see this one first. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we've got. It's a 1967. So we have three 1967s now, five silvers for the hunt. 1967 takes the lead. 
So I'll see you guys at our next find or the heavy. Okay, guys, we are on roll number four of box number two. And we're going to have our first silver find. Kind of funny how we just stopped off at roll three on that live video that we had. And we got our silver on roll four for box number two. 1969 Denver. So that's silver number two for 1969 Denver. And that makes 12 silvers for the hunt so far. Okay, guys, we are on roll number 16. And we're going to have a triple silver roll here, guys. We got one right there by my thumb. And then two next to each other. So let's go ahead and pull out that first one. We've got a 1969 Denver. So that's silver number one. Then we'll get to silver number two and three right there. So this one's a worn down one. When I saw that edge, I thought it could possibly be a 90 percenter, but it had that 40 percent look because it was really dark gray. I'm trying to flip it over here. So there's the reverse, really worn down. Might have been someone's pocket piece for a while. And there's that other 1968 Denver. So two 68 Denvers and a 69. So we're going to have 15 silvers for the hunt now, guys. So that makes two ounces of silver, a little over two ounces. I'll bring you guys in for our next find. All right, guys, we're on roll number 19 of box number two. And we're going to have another silver. It's a 1967. So 1967, we have... I think six or seven of these now, if not more. And we're at silver number 14, maybe? No, sorry, we have 15 already. So we're, I think we're at silver number 16. All right, guys, I'll bring you guys in for our next find. All right, guys, we're going to have our next silver for box number two. I'm losing count of how many silvers we're at so far. <laughs> Got a bunch of 40%. It's a 1969 Denver. So not too bad. We'll add this to our 1969 Denver pile. I think that makes, that's four 1969 Denvers for the hunt. Okay, guys, so we have three rolls left in box number two. And we're going to have another silver, guys. The stream did see this one first. There's the reverse, and it's a 1968 Denver. Like I said, I lost track of how many 40%ers we have now. I think we're just under 20, so we'll add it to the board. And I'll bring you guys in for our next find. Okay, guys, so this is kind of crazy. Last roll of box number two, and we're gonna have a silver here before we get into those heavy rolls, and it's a proof, so it's a special one. Let's go ahead and pull this one out. And it's a 1970 San Francisco, guys. We've got a 1970 San Francisco, 40% silver half dollar. We just need to find that 1970 Denver. But that's an awesome find, super rare find, and we'll take it for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the board and I'll bring you guys in for our heavy rolls. Okay guys, so we just finished up box number two. We found that awesome 1970 40 percenter. It's gonna be 1970 Denver. Let's get into our heavy rolls. We're gonna start with a 225.9. Guys, it's been an insane hunt so far. We have 19 40 percenters. So we're doing pretty good. Nothing in that very first roll. Let's get into the next one. We have two enders here. And we have a 226 roll, so this might have been a, if I can open it, this might be semi-heavies. I'm not sure. I got to double check. We're going to weigh them up anyway, so nothing there. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I think this was semi-heavies, and I think these three are a little bit heavier, like 226, probably 0.3 or so. And we're going to double check a couple of coins there. It's a 74. And that's not a silver. It's a 74 as well. So let's keep it going. 226 on the dot. So far this year, guys, we found two 1970 San Francisco's. So two 1970 proofs. Pretty impressive because last year we didn't find any. I think we went through over $100,000 and half dollars last, last year. So... Pretty cool to be able to find those 1970 San Francisco's. Now we just need that Denver. And I don't think we have anything in this. Actually, we might have one right here, guys. I think we have a silver right there. Let's pull it out. Yeah, that's going to be a silver. At least it looks like it. 1968 Denver. I think. Or is it a... Yeah, it's a Denver. I almost, my eyes were playing tricks on me there. I thought it was a San Francisco for a second, just 
not shiny. We'll put it off to the side. We're gonna save that proof, not proof, that ender roll for a little bit later. 226.2. So let's see. And it looks like we got a double silver roll here, guys. I got one right there and I got one right there. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see what years we've got. 1969 Denver. And a 1968 Denver. So not too bad. And double silver roll, we'll take it. That's three silvers for our heavy rolls now. Let's keep it going. 226.3. Are we going to have a repeat of our last roll there? And I don't think so. That's not a silver, I don't think. No, 1974. So I don't think we have any silver in this roll. That's all right. Let's get into that next one. 226.3. Possibility of a 90 percenter. We found 90 percenters in 226.3 rolls in the past. And I don't think so. A gold plated 2008 coin. Nothing there. And nothing there. So I'll put that to the side. And let's get into our should we do our we'll save that one for last the ender 226.6 so this is where we start to see possible 90 percenters and i think i see a 90 and possibly a 40 so we'll see if this is a 40 i don't think it is actually oh it is it's a 1969 guys 1969 denver that reverse was not really too telling and here's our possible, yeah, wow, that's a worn Benji. Let's see what year we've got on this worn down Benji. No mint mark. It's a 1952. That thing is beat up. Wow, we'll take it though. That's still a 90% silver. Let me clear out this board a little bit. Put some of these coins off to the side. Okay, guys, so our phone cut off there. I think we got everything that we needed to, but um, we had a delete some storage and free up some storage because we ran out of storage on the phone. So let's get into this roll, 226.6. And we've got a 90 percenter right there, two off from being an ender. Let's see what we've got. I'm guessing a 64, and that's exactly what it is. 1964, and this one's going to be a Philly. So that's 90 percenter number two for the hunt. Let's get into our next roll here. Oops, let me put it to the side for our stream to see. Sorry about that. 19, sorry, I don't know why I'm saying 19. 226.8 in this roll. And it looks like we're going to have two silvers here, guys. We got one right, one off from being an ender and possibly a 90 there. But this almost looks like it's a, a 40 because of that toning. Yeah, I think it's a 40. So let's pull. Actually, guys, we have three silvers in this roll. So we have that one that's an ender, one right next to it, and one right there. So let's pull out this one first. The one that looks like it has a toned up edge. And it's a 1969 Denver. So that's silver number one for that roll. Here's silver number two. It's a 68 Denver, similar to one of the ones that we found earlier. And a 1966 so three silvers in that roll. That was a good roll. Three silvers, three 40 percenters in that roll. Let's get into our next one. Let's see. We have three rolls left for the box. Or shot, sorry, for the hunt, I should say. 227.2. So let's see. There should be a 90 percenter in this one. Weighing that much. And there is right there. We're going to have a 90 percenter. I'm guessing this one's another 1964. And it looks like it is. I don't see a mint mark. It's a 1964 Philly. So that is, let me put that to the side for the stream as well. So that's 90% or number three. We're going to get into our ender roll here. We have a silver ender. And let's see what we weigh in up on this one. 225.6 for this one. I wonder if there's any friends in this roll. 
And I don't... Actually, yep, we had a friend right there. Oh, it was so close to being a double silver ender. Let's see what this one is first. 1966 with some cool toning there and some paper in the roll. But uh, 1966, not too bad. And I don't think there's any other... Oh, we got a proof in this roll as well. It's a 1971 San Francisco. So another proof for the board. That reverse is looking pretty good. And let's see if there's anything else in here besides that ender. It looks like just that ender is the other silver that we got. And it's a 1968 Denver. So another 40 percenter. Now here's our special roll, guys. That's an ender. And it's a heavy roll, too. So let me just show the stream real quick. We've got an ender there. And this one's going to weigh up as a 227.9. So that's a very heavy roll, guys. Let's see. And I see a couple of silvers here, guys. It looks like we have one right there. We have that ender. We have one right here, possibly. I think that's a silver and one right there. So four silvers in this roll. Let's pull out this one first and see what we've got. Let's see, it's a 1968 Denver, so that's silver number one for the roll. Yeah, that's definitely a silver. It's a 1965, wow, some nice toning on this one. 1965 for silver number two, that's not a proof. Let's see what we got for silver number three, 1965 as well. All right, and Let's see what we've got here for our... This one's probably a 90 percenter. I don't see a mint mark. 1964. We found a silver like that one earlier today, and it had very similar toning. But I think that's what we got for this roll, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off here and make sure we didn't miss anything, and I'll bring you guys in for the wrap-up. Okay, guys, so we didn't miss anything in any of those rolls, so let's go ahead and get into our wrap-up. We're going to start with our oldest find which was this 1952 Ben Franklin half dollar. This one's gonna be a Philly. We found three 1964 Phillies. This one has some cool toning on the obverse. So had this one to show you guys. We found two 1965s for a total of 31 40 percenters on this hunt. This one's a really nice one with some awesome toning on the obverse as well. We had a total of four 90 percenters. We found two 1966 half dollars. We'll just give a quick look at each year that we found. We found some 1967s. I don't know exactly how many. I think there's six there. We found quite a few, I think 12 actually, of the 1968s. This one's our worn down 1968, probably a pocket piece at one point. So pretty cool. Also, if you guys hear any noise in the background, that's the dishwasher right now. We found some 1969 Denvers. I think we found, let me see, seven of those. Yep, seven of those. And we found the elusive 1970 San Francisco Proof. I think this is our second for the year now. It would be nice to find that 1970 Denver. We'll definitely take this one. We found all of the years for the 40% silvers, except for that 1976 Bicentennial silver but that doesn't count we're talking about 1965 to 1970 so that was awesome we also found four proofs we found a 1971 i'll just do a quick brief of these two 1971s actually a 1977 san francisco and a 1980 san francisco and we also found one foreign coin and that's going to be this two dollar coin this one's from Eastern Caribbean States, 2011, $2. So pretty cool, far and find. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below as well as leave a comment and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on our next hunt.